I'm Jazz Love, married to Dougal Love, it's our boat Romanza and um, it's given us enormous pleasure in the last three years or so to, to be sailing and to be cruising, racing and just enjoying um, the, the harbour in New Zealand. So our plan for the summer is to take the boat down to Nelson and, and spend some time in the Marlborough Sounds and then come back again. So it's, um, it's an exciting time for us. Dougal and I plan to do that trip basically two-handed on our own. So any time we have a downwind, we're going to need to be able to have the two of us pull that sail up and down. And there's no way, if you see the size of it, that we could do that without the snuffer. So it's been a magical gift for, for me to just get the boat in the right position and Dougal to do all the work and he man the sail up and down. I'll help and get it in. It's a two-man job. We can put it on auto helm and, and manage it quite easily with the two of us in a decent sort of breeze. So quite an adventure coming up. Jazz and I uh, put uh, this boat Romanza together about um, 2017 that went in the water. We had an A3 that came with the boat, a furling A3, and we kept getting beaten uh, when we were racing in particular. So we went looking for something bigger and found a um, second hand one that um, looked the business, which we thought we'd buy and try out. And that's worked out really well for us. Rather than have it on a furler because we needed it to be able to fly free, we, we looked around at options and the snuffer was the next best option, given that it's 297 square metres of area, which takes a football team to douse in the normal you know, manner of dropping sails on a, on a race boat. We looked around at different options and talked to SeaTech among others and decided that the inflatable snuffer was the way to go. Well, we've had no issues, we've been running it well, about 12 months now. Absolutely no issues at all. In fact, I, I kind of thought that it would be a lot more difficult than it is, but it, it's nice and easy. Goes up, comes down, we tie it off when it's at the top so it doesn't come down when you don't want it to. Douses the sail really well, better than I, better than I expected actually. This is a massive sail. Personally, I, couldn't, I don't think you can beat this. I mean, it, it does everything we want really well. It's easy to use, but best of all, it just packs away. You know, it folds up, deflates, and it's out of sight and out of mind and not a problem for us. I think really the way to go for shorthanded and for racing, you know, it's, uh, there's no downside to it. I, I wondered initially about having, you know, the effect of having a um, inflated snuffer ring at the top of the rig when you're racing, but it doesn't even impact because it's actually high enough that it's not compressing the sail, you know, so it's been good. Fraser Brown, SeaTech. Uh, I think I'm 18 years with the company now and, uh, and the Snuff Air product is um, something that we started to do I think in 2009, 2010 um, after the uh, America's Cup in Valencia. Sailing today on Rapido is really good to see the, um, the owners of the yacht um, actually handling the spinnaker by themselves. Uh, you know, we were, were part of it to help them set up, and, and uh, but the actual manoeuvre they, they did themselves, and uh, that was great to see. And, and I haven't really seen that before in these smaller boats. I've always been with a big, big team, so um, to see it happen, you know, double-handed on a on a six-foot trimaran, that's fantastic. <laughs>